there's tons of security options, right? You have quick fingerprint authentication. So, you see here, you see the flashy little LEDs? Yeah. That's your fingerprint sensor. On the iPhone, you have a bunch of white metal, wasted space, right? Could have been screened yeah. into something here. Very smartly integrated really fast. If you want to go for more security stuff, you can lock it, right? And I can show you here. I'll unlock my phone right in front of you. You have no idea what my password is. This is thoughtful security, right? I could look over your shoulder and catch your pin, or maybe steal your phone and see where your fingerprint sets was. But here, I can unlock it in front of you ten times and you'll just never know where exactly it is. Picture path. Security, right? Yeah. Again, someone could, you know, cut off your finger or, you know, grab your finger from somewhere and get in biometrics. This is a simple proof way to make sure your device stays secure. There's so much more deeper in the OS that gets you even further. So if I were to launch DTEC, DTEC tells me my device's security state. It's excellent right now. A lot of things that people don't think about. Setting a pin, you know, using a lock screen password. But another great feature is that I can go into applications and permissions and see what particular apps are abusing my security and also abusing my battery life. So if I go into the permission section here and I jump into location, I will start seeing all the apps that are abusing my location permission. So if I go in here, Snapchat over the last seven days has accessed my location 2,000 561 times. I have not launched the app 2,671 times. It's constantly pinging in the background, sending my location up to the server. And if I don't like that, I can easily jump in here and say, let's change that, all right? So I can go in here and say, Snapchat, you no longer have access to my location. So really, really rich feature set for users who are looking to get more security and fine tooth control over their device. I simply tap over here, I get moved to app permissions, and I say, Snapchat, you can no longer use my location. Simple as that. That puts me in control. Not Blackberry, not Google, me. And that's important. On a device like this, no one has been able to root the Blackberry software as of yet. This is another powerful benefit. The Priv has been out for two years. This Android security implementation has been out for two years. We brought the device to Black Hat, these big white hat conferences where users are supposed to hack and try. No one has accomplished this yet. With Nougat, with further security projects that are coming down the pipe, we're getting NIAP certification for our Android stack and as well more FIPS certification for government usage. Meaning again, the security bar is raised further. What we do here on this device is it, when we build it, right, when it's pieces on a table, we go in with our cryptography, which is through our Certicom acquisition, and we inject secure cryptographic keys into the actual processor. What that allows us to do is do validated boot, meaning if someone were to go in and manipulate the Android OS, the device would not turn on. It would not allow that hacker access to your information because the hardware itself knows that the software does not have the integrity. That's a hardware root of trust that goes from the hardware into the software. So really, it's a robust security implementation. And again, that's all under the hood. It's nothing you have to worry about or think about. It's done for you with the BlackBerry brand. So a lot of really good security stuff. And again, it goes even further. There's tons of different lock screen and other implementations, things that you can do, so you have even more control of that security. When you were showing Snapchat and just showing how many times it pings location, is there a quick switch that allows you to say, you know what, I'm gonna turn off all the apps because I wanna work, I wanna connect to a system, but I want full privacy? So the way the Android system, because basically what DTEC is doing is it's kicking you over to the Android permission system here. Like this is not DTEC, it's just invoked through DTEC. So the problem with bulk assigning like no location is that some apps need it. GPS for example, right? So you do have to go into the individual app to make those permission changes. There's no kind of clear all or select all for things like that. But again, you'll notice like when I told it to take the location off, it said, hey, the app may not work the same way, right? So again, geo tagged filters and things like that won't work in Snapchat because I turn the location off. So you'd have a caveat. What we want users to do is have control. If we started kind of assigning blankets to things like that, the user could ultimately start deteriorating services that they may actually want to use. A Facebook check-in, for instance, right? I turn the notifications off, it doesn't work. Another option a user has, if you want to do the actual clearing of all of that stuff, is to slide down and just toggle your location off. Right. I was just thinking, like, 
for my own purpose, I want to work on patient files on this, right? But you know, I also need to make sure that it falls under the standards of you know encryption so and everything else is locked down. So I just wanted to know what would be your best recommendation using this phone to do that. So there's a couple things. If you're looking for that, I would absolutely recommend looking at an MDM solution, a device management solution, right? Okay. That's where you can invoke Android for work and really lock things down. Okay. And that's BlackBerry server, right? Good technology. Getting someone to manage the device, right? And even if it's you, right? You could buy that software or your company buy that software. And now these devices are managed, right? If you're a big organization and you're deploying 500 devices across your organization, right, and you're buying those devices like here, I need you to use this for work. The problem is, again, medical data, personal client information, CI compliance and all of that gets very hairy. So the IT and the CIO level, you want to be able to lock that down. So then you bring in another software to manage that, that you can lock down and do even more than what you have here just as an individual user. So if you're really in a business type of case and you have patient files like that or clients and such, there's other things you can do, right? Two-factor authentication is a great way. That's something that Google supports natively, right? You choose a service you like, you can use a fingerprint and then a pin to access any service. That's how you can lock down maybe an app that has that service and be in it. Okay. No, so that's fair. lots of options, right? Okay. It's really going to be up to you to see and explore. With Android, there's a big wide world of things you can do. Yeah, that's the reason why I like it.